Chào mừng quý vị và các bạn đến với chương trình Tôi và Việt Nam trên kênh truyền hình FBNC. Thưa quý vị, năm 2015 là năm đánh dấu 20 năm bình thường hóa quan hệ giữa Hoa Kỳ và Việt Nam. Và liên quan đến lĩnh vực giáo dục thì có thể nói đây là một lĩnh vực mà cả hai nước đã có nhiều tiến triển tốt trong mối quan hệ hợp tác. Và đặc biệt, Hoa Kỳ luôn là điểm đến yêu thích của nhiều học sinh Việt Nam đi du học. Và nhân dịp này, chúng tôi sẽ được dành thời lượng chương trình để trò chuyện một số vấn đề liên quan đến nền giáo dục đại học của Hoa Kỳ cũng như một số vấn đề liên quan đến mối quan hệ hợp tác giữa hai quốc gia trong thời gian sắp tới. Mời quý vị cùng gặp gỡ với vị khách mời của chương trình ngày hôm nay, đó là anh Alex Titolo, là tùy viên văn hóa, giáo dục và báo chí của Tổng lãnh sự quán Mỹ tại thành phố Hồ Chí Minh. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you, my pleasure. How are you? How are you? So 2015 is the year that we um, marks the 20th anniversary of the formal normalization of diplomatic relations between the U.S. and Vietnam. So what do you say is the, the biggest achievements in terms of education and cultural exchange of the two countries? Well, it's been an amazing 20 years uh, since the U.S. and Vietnam normalized relations. Uh, if we start with students, uh, if you look at the number of Vietnamese students currently studying in America, 20 years ago, it was less than 1,000. Mm -hmm. Now it's over 16,500. Vietnam is now the eighth largest source of foreign mm. students studying in America. That's an amazing, amazing development when you consider how low the number was just 20 years ago. Uh, in, in the U.S. consulate here in Ho Chi Minh City, it's part of our responsibility mm. to encourage that trend, to help it develop. Yep. Because those types of exchanges, students going back and forth, is what is building the future of the relationship. You know, those, those students that went to the United States 20 years ago mm. when we first normalized relations, yeah. they're the ones that are making our current relationship better yeah. and better every day. So the students that go now, mm. 20 years from now, they're the ones who are going to be leading the relationship. Yeah. From our point of view, we look at educational exchanges as an investment, the way that a company would make an investment in its people or in new technology. Mm. The payoff may not be today, but we know that the payoff is coming. Sure. So that's how we look at students. And the change. numbers just keep rising. The numbers went up again this year. So talking about studying in the U.S., I guess the number one concern for parents and students mm -hmm. is how difficult it is to get a visa. And I mean, I myself personally, I failed once 10 years ago and I applied for it again. Mm -hmm. And people said that getting a visa to study in the U.S. Mm -hmm. cannot be a sure thing because mm -hmm. even you prepare all the required documents, you have the appropriate reasons, you still get fouls. I mean, is that true? How does it work? Could you confirm that? Mm -hmm. So we want to approve qualified applicants yeah. according to U.S. law. There is no quota on student visas. Mm -hmm. We want to approve people because for the reasons I just mentioned, more students going from Vietnam to the United States is good for America and it's good for our bilateral relationship. Uh, people have to be prepared for their interview yeah. in accordance with U.S. law. Uh, that means being able to clearly explain your plans in the United States. Okay. It also means not buying fake documents on the street and not mm. listening to people who claim that they know how the visa process works. Mm. The only official source of information on the U.S. visa process is the U.S. government. Mm. So people should visit our website and get the correct information if they're considering applying. Mm. But, but let me just say, specifically in regards to students, Getting a visa is the last step in the process. The most important thing is for Vietnamese young people and their parents to clearly think through their plans. Why do they want to study in the United States? What mm. do they want to study? What do they think the best school might be? How are they going to pay for it? Mm. Those steps all come first. Visa is at the end of the process. Okay. But I can tell you, it's in our interest that qualified students go to the United States. So any notable trends on like let's say, you know, what school, school that you, they are choosing, or locations mm -hmm. or any majors they mm -hmm. are studying in the U.S.? Any notable trends recently? Uh, Vietnamese students go to a wide variety mm -hmm. of colleges and universities in the United States. Of that 16,500 that I mentioned, mm -hmm. uh, approximately three quarters are studying at the undergraduate level. Then some people are, uh, are at the graduate level also. Mm -hmm. uh, they go to virtually every state. There are many mm -hmm. in California, in Texas, in New York, as with many foreign uh, students. But Vietnamese students are virtually everywhere in the United States now, which we think is a great thing. Mm. So what is the role of the American Center at the U.S. Consulate in terms of providing information on U.S. education? Because right now, the parents and students can find a lot of information from 
from the outside, from the market, from a lot of education and overseas study centers or school outside in the market. But how can it check is that legitimate information and what is your role in all of this? Right. Our role is to continue to support this positive trend of more Vietnamese students studying in America mm. and then coming back and improving Vietnam. Mm. That's our role. The, the tools that we have to do that are our free advising service called Education USA. Mm. Education USA is the only official source of information on study in the United States. EducationUSA.state.gov mm -hmm. is the website that anyone can go to around the world and then for the country that you're in you can find specific information mm. or please just come visit us on the eighth floor of Diamond Plaza in District 1. Okay. That's where our offices are located, that's where the American Center so that's is. That's the place to go. That is the place to go. We want people to come visit us. Mm -hmm. You know, I know that many people think of a diplomatic building as being behind the that's walls and too. they're not welcome. Um, but we want people to come see us. That's our, that's our job, mm. is to build these people-to-people -people relations between Vietnam and, and the U.S. Mm. So part of that is us going out and meeting people, mm -hmm. but part of it also is people coming to us. We, you know, we have a, a public space where we run a great variety of programs for Vietnamese young people to practice English, to practice professional development, but also to come and get free educational advising. Mm. So I know that this is a, a very big issue in Vietnam. Mm. I know many, many young people and their parents are considering study in the United States. Mm. As I said, we want to encourage that trend. And I know that there are many other sources of information, but Education USA is the only official one, and it is part of the United States Consulate mm. General here in Ho Chi Minh City. But do you help with the application process or just information services? So what we help with is uh, helping people figure out what they want to do mm. and how to go through the process of applying for schools in the United States. Because we recognize that we have a very different application process. Mm. We recognize that people have many, many questions. We recognize that we have a very different educational system in general. Mm -hmm. And so naturally there are questions. Um, and of course there are thousands of colleges and universities in the United States, so there are mm. a lot of choices. What we help people do is figure out based on their academic goals, based mm -hmm. on their career goals, how to choose the right school, hmm. how to choose the right major, what, how does the financial aid That's very process important work? for the first you know, process of getting It is a there. crucial first step, hmm. and I see it every day. I see young Vietnamese people and their parents in the American Center getting this educational advising from Education USA, and when I see that, I think to myself, 20 years from now, that young person hmm. is going to be working here at FBNC <laughs> or is going to be working in the government. It's like 10 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, th that's the future of this relationship. It's sure. the students that are thinking about studying in America now. Mm -hmm. And we want to do everything we can to encourage Thank that. You. Let's take a short break and uh, we can back and talk more about the U.S. education system. Great. Thank you so much. Yeah. Uh, thưa quý vị, vừa rồi là những chia sẻ của anh Alex Titolo là tùy viên văn hóa giáo dục và báo chí của Tổng lãnh sự quán Hoa Kỳ tại thành phố Hồ Chí Minh. Quý vị có thể xem lại chương trình này trên website fbnc.vn hoặc là facebook.com suyệt tôn việt nam chúng tôi sẽ còn quay trở lại sau ít phút nữa